gonna, I, I knew, I knew it was gonna stay at 74%. How dare you? We can, oh wait, no, we can integrate Greece. I bet you this actually rounds up to like 75%. We're going to just directly annex Greece. There we go. Greece has joined Yugoslavia. The like Greece and Yugoslavia both suffered horribly during World War II and many felt abandoned by the pre-war leaders. It was the communist parties of both nations which spearheaded the resistance and eventual liberation. However, when the Yugoslav communist party succeeded in cementing control, the Greece communists had a battle against reactionary forces and foreign inf uh, interference before triumphing. Yugoslavia reset Greece's government, integrated itself firmly, and secured the revolutionary victory. After much internal decision, uh, the Greek government agreed. They believe alone the country is a counter-revolution, uprising, and interference from their affairs. But unified with Yugoslavia, the state will be too powerful to be challenged. Yugoslavia agrees that by unifying all people of the Balkans, it will end any border or ethnic disputes and more effectively implement communism for the people. Okay, so we now have a brand new army. You absolutely love to see it. We will assign you into this army. You'll be on, I guess, the southern Bulgarian border. And then some of you will be on the southern Albanian border as well. Why do you have units up here? You guys go to Brown Army as well. Just make your way home, please. We basically have doubled the size of our army. But I don't think we made any more GDP because apparently, again, Greece somehow had no money in it. Like, I, I don't even know how the hell that's even possible, but apparently it is. Oh, that's a beautiful looking Yugoslavia right there, I would say. But next up, it's going to be Albania. You're going to get influenced the hell out of. And we're going to be happy with it. Then we can form our beautiful Balkan Federation. Apparently for the Balkan Federation, do you not actually need... You need Sofia, Bagras, Varna. Do you not actually need Albania? Valor. No, okay, you do need Valor. So apparently you actually don't need Greece for for that. Oh no, then no, our GDP did go up. It's up now to 62.4 billion dollars. Okay, the SDP and the KDP have announced a merger between the two parties. Okay, we're now making more money. We're actually losing more money because of Greece. Greece has cost our economy dearly. I think we might just want to... You know why? Because we incorporated the entirety of the Greek military into our army. That probably costs us a lot of money. So we might actually want to... Cut back military spending. So we can actually earn some cash. Just a thought on that. Okay, give me the next level of, mil of artillery. And then after that... Probably not worry about space too much. I'm not even, not, not even going to worry about um, nuclear weapons either. Your 1955 tech, a little bit expensive. Give me construction speed and factory repair. Factory repair is basically garbage, but I'll take the, the construction speed upgrades. So how much political power do we need to cut down military spending? We need 150 political power. Okay, that's actually not so, so bad. I will definitely take it. Also, Albania hates us. We decrease in painting different ideology. I mean, I think they do also have some core territory here, but they're not so mad about it. So that's nice. Okay. A pie has been triumphant in the Israeli elections. Also, um, apparently West Germany is also communist now. Huh. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. Operation Passage, agreement and fighting Vietnam, divided the states into two governments. Okay. And Prince Fadi has been banned from Egypt after fair. I believe that means that, um, Barack the First. Okay, so Princess Fatih has been banned from Egypt and excommunicated. So Germany, now that apparently you've gone communist, 
Can you even do any of these decisions? No, because you need the found. Found the Budzwar. So, Germany, what the hell are you doing? Okay, so apparently, uh, East and West Germany are about to unify under Soviet leadership. Yeah, that seems okay. Not really what I was expecting, for sure. Does that mean that all of Germany is going to be, I mean, it says that all Germany is going to come Marxist. Are they going to remain neutral, or do you think they're just going to join the Soviet sphere? I, I don't really know. Okay, the Battle of Econ, uh, South Korean forces. They don't shift the power on the balance back to South Korean pro-U.S. forces. I, I, like, how... <laughs> it's wild, man. Okay, let's immediately cut down military spending. There we go, we saved about $3 billion there. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more than that. Develop nukes. I think developing nukes would just take too long. I, I, I just like seeing like the weird shit that happens sometimes. So are you going to unify the country? No, not yet. What are you doing first? Collection of intellects. Okay. What a weird, just, just a weird, uh, series of events. Okay, so it is, uh, 51. What do we want to research? I guess we can research some, uh, technologies here. Obviously, but we can research some, uh, electronic technology. Follow you up with another computer tech. Give me, give me a, give me one a one percent research speed increase. Thank you. What is a research up bonus right now? Ooh, six percent. Absolutely incredible. I think. What else are we spending a lot of money on? Healthcare, policing. What about social policies? Regressive, reactionary. Population growth. War support. We wanted for the political power to change this stuff. Production efficiency gain. The execution of Twitchot Kostov. Uh, former head of the Bulgarian Communist Party was executed by the Bulgarian government. He has been dismissed by the Central Committee. He shared the party membership several months ago. After his arrest, he was accused of de deviating from Marxist Leninism by embracing nationalism, undermining Soviet ties, and being agent of Western intelligence agencies. In a trial, Kostov was un uh, not able to offer an effective defense and was stiffly found guilty. Uh, as far as in the party were being arrested and put on trial, on well with similar charges, he was also expected to be found guilty in the sentence of long prison sentences. Okay. I mean, that's fine, because soon they will become Yugoslavian. So then we, we got nothing to worry about there. Making 0.3 billion. I mean, I guess we could just delete some of these units. You know, yeah, let, let's cut down these units a little bit. Get rid of five di uh, divisions. That'll save us a little bit of money. And Singapore has fallen to the communists. Are you at war with anybody? No. And the Soviet Union is testing out more nuclear bombs. You're going to give us 0.4 political power, which I'm very happy with. The more political power just means the faster we can influence all the countries. Oh, now, now we're making 3.8 billion. The army is so goddamn expensive, man. Just deleting five divisions saved us that amount of money. Also, yeah, so that's the case. Don't build more units. Not worth it. They're very expensive. But I will build more military factories. Uh, let's build one in... Just way up in the north. I 
guess we could... I mean, again, we, we know that Tito is propaganda. Like, this event... I, I don't think it really works properly. I think we just want to... Just influence you, right? For trade agreement, just like guarantee independence. I think we just influence you, like, normally. 17 to 21... Okay. Again, we're already like a third of the way there. Yugoslavia stays winning. Of course, you none of this area is core, right? Wait, is it core? Holy hell, it is a core state. You absolutely love this again. Okay. I do appreciate it. I know we're not training any units, but trust me, I, we, we prefer not to. Pay off debt. Am I in debt? Did I inherit? I probably inherited their debt, didn't I? Okay, well, pay off whatever debt we have. Does it say in here what my debt is? GDP, GDP growth, 31%. That seems pretty good. Number of farms, civilian factories, nail manufacturing. Tax income. Our army upkeep is by far the most expensive thing we have. Education. Okay, Rosenberg's been found guilty. Public spending, military expenditures. I don't see... Loans in here. So I don't know what loans we possibly had. And I, I don't know where else you would see the loan number. Influence Yugoslavia a little bit more. Boom, up to 29% immediately. And again, we're, we're getting good political power. Look at power is going through the roof, and we're... Mwah, we love to see it. Are you guys unifying yet? No, you're building military factories. What's everybody else up to these days? Nothing super surprising yet. Okay, we've halted collectivization. Which should mean we're now getting... Th okay, no. Gotta remember, we've got to click a button first. And then we look. We're getting 2.71. That's still pretty good. We'd be getting almost four points. Um, If we weren't doing a focus. Okay, Red Malaysia has been declared. The People's Democratic Republic of Malaysia. You can get a non-aggression pack with them? Sure, why not? Why don't we get like a non-aggression pack with everybody? I don't think this really changed anything. Okay, got assassination of the Pakistani Prime Minister. You will not because I think you just hate me. Yeah, you just don't like us. But the member states are more than okay to accept non-aggression packs. And I will take them, because why not? The leader of Malaysia is definitely Malaysian. I don't know who, Ch uh, who Chin Peng is. Let's go for the 1941 uh, advanced vacuum tubes. And then we have another artillery upgrade. Um, I guess we'll take... Take an anti-tank weapon, I guess? That seems okay. And we'll upgrade our artillery. Which we're not actually building any of them quite yet. That's okay. You don't need to be building stuff. We're now making, we're now making 4.1 billion. The numbers just keep on going up. Okay, so again, you're 29%. We have 19 influence there, 28 influence. So 
I mean, they like us. No shade. Like, I mean, the only reason it's a yes is because we're a player. And that's actually like a major uh, point in AI's favor for wanting us to join their faction. Okay, what do we want to research next? I mean, I guess let's go for more computer technology. Give me research speed. I'm not really too sure what unlocks for weapon types actually does. To be quite honest with you. When do, when do you go away? You go away on a 52. That's a 30% factory output. That's really good. I mean, we're only going to be having it for like five more months. So, it, it you know. Love it while we still have it. You are construction speed for industrial parts goes up. You are building slots, which I think is essentially ass. Like, it's just not good. Okay, so it looks like France is maybe decolonizing. It's hard to it's hard to say. I have no idea what the hell is going on with Vietnam, though. Okay, there's been a failed coup in Thailand. It looks like North Korea has pushed them back to the border. So I have no I have no idea who's going to end up winning the um, the Korean War. Because right now, again, like, only China's actually sending them volunteers. Sino-Soviet Treaty of Friendship. Okay, get new trading partners. Let's reject Stalinist economics. It's going to give us a 5% research speed. That, that gets added to you. Which we're only going to have for, like, 6 months. So maybe we could have gotten this done a little bit earlier to make, you know... All the use of it. Actually, I wonder if... Hmm. Puzzle NATO expansion. Do you want to add West Germany and Greece all into the faction? I'm going to tell you, you've got some probably some... Some issues with that for sure. Since Greece doesn't exist, Germany's communist. I guess you could add Turkey, but... I mean, Turkey would be very isolated. But I don't know if they'd really uh, agree to such expansion. Does it say... I mean, they're not, in, they're not in NATO yet. Hello, Viaz. Are you in NATO? No. You're in NATO. We can, also, we can keep on spreading uh, support into Greece. I'm going to tell you right now. Doesn't make a lot of sense. For obvious reasons, I'd have to say. They're at 29. I'm going to... I'm going to spend 100 points here. I know it doesn't really do anything. Oh, no. Now we're at 38. Okay, so it worked in... It worked for some reason in Albania, and I don't know why it didn't work in Greece. Okay, we're now up to 44%. Every day, we inch ourselves closer and closer to a United uh, Balkans. We have planes reserve. I'm not going to deploy them because it'll cost us money. Today, People Democratic Republic of Malaysia is publicly executed and Sir Gerald Templer by firing squad. Officer and veteran of both world worlds, he was one of the key leaders of the colonial regime and has been charged by Malaysian courts of crimes against humanity for his use of chemical weapons, concentration camps, and a man-made famine that decimated the Malaysian countryside. Templer was captured by Malaysian rebel forces in the Battle of Singapore and while trying to escape. Internationally, the United Kingdom has released a statement demanding UN sanctions. However, it is unlikely any action will be taken. And we've got the Pebble Plan. In European countries, okay. And the question with the Pebble Plan is, 